In addition to a distribution at Atlantic City, another group of city volunteers from the New Jersey chapter headed to South Thames River to distribute blankets, daily necessities, and 600 words of cash cards to local residents. After the snow, the temperature has finally normalized in the state of New Jersey. City volunteers seize the window of good weather and carry out a large-scale relief and distribution for 500 families at the South Times River Elementary School. The relief supplies, which have come from Taiwan and the Dallas City chapter, are moved to the gymnasium before the start of the distribution. Food today, and then, uh, we do have the shelters. They can come in and get clothes. Uh, mostly infants, they need bl uh, blankets, sheets, stuff like that, you know, diapers, uh, formula. That, that's a big thing with the infants. We worry about the young ones. Among those assisting is the principal of South Times River Elementary, as well as the staff from the local office of emergency management. Although power has resumed to 95 percent capacity and life for residents is gradually returning to normal, what they still need most is the care and the support from the outside world. I think just your organization is uh, providing lots of support, lots of love, and I. Uh, I think the people here, I know myself, uh, you don't feel like you're alone. You feel like you have the support of the world. And, uh, you know, and an organization like, like yours is uh, just, just really heart, heartwarming. What we are packing now are the blankets we received from the city Dallas chapter and the instant drives from the city headquarters in Taiwan. Most importantly, we will be handing out cash cards to the residents. We hope that the relief supplies will help these affected families. Dear friends, nature is unpredictable and fragile. After reading a letter of condolence from Master Zhen Yan, the distribution began. The mayor of South Times River, Joseph Champagne, was also present to encourage local residents. You are not called the little town with a big heart for no reason, because it is true, you have a big heart. And for that, I love you all. Thank you. Although disaster victims themselves, local residents acted in an orderly manner while waiting in line to receive their relief supplies, and many did not forget to express their heartfelt thanks to the city volunteers. I see it on TV where people say, oh, we're going to help, we're going to help, and then actually to see them in different places helping, but to see it firsthand is really a sight to behold, and that's just how I feel, it's a sight to behold, that people actually care come from around the world to help South Tom's River. A warm heart closes the gap between cultures and religions and inspires great love. Thanks to the blessings and care of many, the residents of South Tom's River will be back on their feet in no time.